All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sid Survival Guide here today. We are going to be doing some experimenting. Okay, uh, I had a viewer leave a comment. Big Daddy All Daddy had asked if he thinks, if I think that we can cook an egg on the remaining heat from one of these five minute chef meals. So what I did is I got a pan, I got my little Coleman Peak one. If anybody's interested in any of this stuff, you can make sure to check the links in the description below. Anything you get helps the channel. We are going to use this thing right here and we are going to do a couple experiments with the emergency food ration bars ust uh date of manufacture july 20th lot number 160.20 expiration date july 25. each one of these bars is 400 calories and it's got i'm going to assume most of the things that you would need but it's kind of hard to eat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some water in this pan and I'm going to see if maybe I can get one of these to become in maybe a, I don't know, a granola type meal. I don't know. I'm going to, these are, these are pretty handy for five bucks. You know, you got 2,400 calories, which is, I mean, you can eat, if you can figure out a way to eat six of these in a day, you'd be good. You'd be all right. So I got a little bit of, a little bit of oil and some aluminum foil to use on our five minute chef meal. So... I'm going to grab me a spoon. I'm pretty sure I got one in my camp stuff here. Yeah. How about that? Catch me inside. Catch me inside. It's raining outside today. This one looks like it might not be good. It's dirty. We didn't clean it. All right. This one should work. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our little tool together here. Our Coleman One Peak. Right there. Make sure it's turned off. All right. And we can get, well that may not work, huh? I wonder if we can tilt it up. Well, for now. Hmm. For now, we'll do that right there. That is extremely precarious, isn't it? But we can. Let's go ahead and get that thing lit. some water in this thing so let's see we'll use about eight ounces of water and we'll see what we can get going with this little food ration bar so it's a little better on there with with some heat or with some water in it Easy tear seal here. Now these things are unique. And it says that it is apple cinnamon. Smells like it. You should smell it. Ma'am. I mean, you can. I don't know. But we're going to see if eight ounces of water, what that does. It may be a little bit too much water, but we've got more. So now, make sure I don't lose my eggs here on my unlevel back porch. I'm going to get this one out. The five minute meals beef stroganoff. Stroganoff being one of my favorites. I have said this before. 
All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this the way we're supposed to, and we're going to time it for the five minutes that it takes. And then we're going to see if whatever heat is left over, if we can cook us an egg. Look, I lost one of my eggs. All right. This is starting to heat up, but I don't want it to like burn to it. So I need to make sure and kind of keep an eye on it. So maybe we'll set that right there. It would be really cool if it would somehow turn into a, uh, like an oatmeal. That'd be cool. And as if you guys have seen this one before, just like before, we're gonna take this right here and we're gonna lay it down. Let's see. All right. We're going to pour our water in it. Whoa. That was almost awful. We're going to pour our water in it. Activator water. Do not drink. So we're going to make sure and cover the whole thing. Just like that. Let that absorb that in real good. Flip that boy over. We're gonna set this on it. And then we're going to put this in here for five minutes. All right. Bam. I'm gonna set this right here. And I'm gonna close the box back up like it says to do. And I'm going to let that cook. It is 435. This is boiling. This is boiling right here. So maybe this will be turning into something soon. Let me turn this down just a hair. Let's assume that boiling water. Now it does look like it may be starting to get soft. But it still has a very very solid texture keep an eye on this now i'm going to try to break it off and stuff and like i said if this isn't enough if it doesn't if it seems watery or gruel like now it doesn't have an awful taste but when you combine the apple cinnamon with the the weird texture of this it's not very pleasurable this right here has a smell of its own all right now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get me a little sheet of aluminum foil out here and ready for our beef stroganoff after it's done i want to see if there's enough accumulative heat left to cook an egg to cook an egg Oh, this is good too, because this is a. Uh, I didn't have any aluminum foil, so we went down to the store, to the gas station, and luckily enough, their aluminum foil is garbage cheap. So that may be, that may be better for the designed experiment. All right. This is. This thing right here sounds like a fucking Learjet. Hey, y'all, this thing's hot. If this thing is supposed to break down, it's not. God. I mean, that's a pretty hefty camping spoon, too. I mean, there's a possibility that this could be good.
but the amount of time that it's going to take is crazy. I can't remember what the allotted amount of time is. Shoo! Wait five minutes. So wait five minutes. All right, we're about four minutes in. This looks like it's almost starting to brown, but still nothing like. All right, so another part of this experiment that I feel like would be necessary I do have a spot of oil for so that our egg is flippable. I'm gonna to try to flip it. I might be able to, you know. I mean, you can see that it has got a a texture in it where some of this stuff is is boiling off. But man, like I guess the next the next one would be to to crumble it up. Maybe. All right, so we are five minutes, and now I want to do this as quick as possible. All right. So that we can take advantage of this heat. That's hot. That's definitely hot. clue how this is going to work. Maybe I should put it back in the box. Obviously that didn't work. Ooh. Let's see how well this works. We'll give that four minutes. I think this guy's right here, this one may have been an epic fail. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be, I mean, it's not horrible, but I think what we're going to do, since we made a big ass mess, is we're going to change up our tactics. All right, well, I'm going to say that one turned out as a fail right there. It's still rock hard. It was boiling for over five minutes. And like I said, it's not gross, but you know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this. Hopefully this works. If it doesn't, then now we know. And then I will give you guys a time lapse of me putting some of this crushed up in a pot and seeing what it turns into with the other eight ounces of water. So we've got two or three minutes in this already. Look, let's, can't let this go to ways now, can we? All right. Mmm. 
All right. Ugh. I'm glad I got that spill on camera though. Just to show sometimes with what dealing with this is like when you don't have a piece of land and you're still trying to follow up on things that you want to do and it's raining and you know what I mean uh, we live in an apartment so this is just a testament to what I'm willing to do in order to follow up on this YouTube and mainly just learning like these are answers that I'm now gonna have I'm not sure what to I'm going to give it another minute or two because it's been in three or four and I'm going to eat this. It's pretty good. Hearty meat. Good sauce. Get that train wreck out of here. I've been hearing sirens all day. All right. Okay. It's about five minutes. How long do you reckon it takes to cook an egg? I can't tell you how much I knew I was going to do that. I guess that's one of the only bad things about this little guy, you know? All right, ladies and gents, let us see what has been produced. Oh, snap. It's still, it's still got a little warmth to it. Boy, it's right there on the cusp. All right. just uh let's get all this uh figured out give that another second or two and what we'll do is we'll put my little failures here in the same pot And then uh, we'll use this container to check out our egg. Because uh, who don't like steak and eggs? You know what I mean? Salisbury steak. Uh, let's see if it... Yeah, All right. So, look, guys. This reminds me somewhat of a boiled like a uh, what is it a uh, a poached egg because it's got some gelatinous to it but I'm not sure how much of that is oil because I did I did put the oil down that is crazy 
Look. There is some. Now there's some that didn't get done. The bottom is very hot. I will be honest. That's a little sloppy for my liking. That doesn't look very appealing. But it reminds me of a fried egg. That's what that is. Now, if you didn't have two different experiments going on and you was quick enough to get two eggs in there, wrapped up, back in a box, I said they'd be cooked. But that right there has still got a little bit of that clear film in it. So... I don't think that, in my opinion, obviously it's going to be edible. If you're in a survival situation, you want to cook something extra on this. Obviously, it's going to be edible. But how good it's going to be is, is it up for question. See, now the color itself is because I mixed it with that steak gravy. But that right there is our outcome. Well, guys, I've enjoyed these little experiments. And hopefully you have too. And hopefully we learn from these and move forward. This is Sid Survival Guide. Make sure to check out all my links in the description below for any of the stuff that I use. And as always, check out my social sites, Patreon. You guys have a wonderful day. potatoes. See it? Looks like mashed potatoes. So we're going to try it. This is, this is uh, not for my own benefit. This is for y'all because I don't want to. <laughs> Ugh. Oh God, is that bad? You want me to try it? It's apple cinnamon, but it's not. Mm. What is it? <laughs> like apple cinnamon, apple cinnamon cardboard. And <laughs> like, 
Because you can taste the apple cinnamon, but that's yeah. like not like oatmeal. No, it's almost like farina. <laughs> kind of, you know, like. But you know, I'm I mean, a big I texture could, person, though. Uh, yeah, I could choke it down. I mean, I could probably eat it if it was life or death situation. Okay, let's fry it. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> But you probably could. Make like tater cakes out of it? Yeah, you might be able to make apple cinnamon survival bar <laughs> cakes. You're about to spill it. You like do something that they've already done. We made it into a cake, homie. <laughs> no, you made it into a brick. There you go, guys. <laughs>